president. They destroyed blackberries with hammers in the State Department. That's not what won the president. Actually, Evan, 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 uh, yes, they did, Brooke. Uh, as, Thanks, so. as, uh, <laughs> as you did. mentioned, there were uh, 13 devices, mobile devices, and five iPads that uh, the FBI said that you know, in some way were used with with her private email server, and they did, in some cases, just destroy them with hammers when they were done using them. She said That's a she pretty good way of just. Not her training, no, it's not. Device. That is absolutely not following the rules and regulations of the State Department. You know it. Your 52 reasons just went down to one. No reasons left. Listen. What's up guys, it's your boy Benny. What happens when you pull the fire alarm and a flamethrower shoots in your face directly from the fire department? <laughs> He's like, I don't know what's happening. That's what's happening in CNN in that moment, that epic moment with Boris Epstein, friend of our show, good old Boris, uh, in 2016, when CNN hit the panic button, pulled the fire alarm and got the old flamethrower. Oh no, we're gonna call BS on Hillary Clinton ever smashing her phones with a hammer. She didn't do that. Oh, yes, she did. FBI Clinton destroyed devices with hammers. I love that. The fact check live on air, it is a thing of legend. The interesting part about this is that even though the FBI has come out and said that, there were 18 different devices, and some of them were smashed with a hammer, some of them were uh, run through a program called Bleach Bit that deleted all of the evidence on those devices. James Comey, of course, going out to say that Hillary Clinton had hundreds of classified emails on those devices, and nobody would bring any charges against her, of course. Wink, wink. <laughs> she just broke every law in the books. But she's our favorite, and so we're going to be nice to her and get into a pillow fight and a tickle fight with her. And what's amazing is that even though that's literally recorded history, and the FBI and the deep state that libs worship, that those people still don't understand that Hillary Clinton did this. This is a tweet from less than 24 hours ago. Nancy Bates, who's a representative from South Carolina, saying Hillary Clinton used a hammer to destroy evidence on a private email server and classified information on that server was and was never indicted. The same standard should be applied to everyone, including Donald Trump. Donald Trump didn't, de de didn't destroy nothing. You know who? That didn't happen, right? Says Keith Overman. Are you okay? You seem to have been hallucinating a lot lately. Uh, well, Keith, let me tell you what, putty. You got absolutely community noted into the sun. You old creepy incel weirdo living with your dogs and cats in your one room Upper East Side apartment, standing on your balcony, screaming uh, at the night with uh, a cheat with with with. Cheeto dust on your face? I don't know what you do, man. You're creepy. Snopes, even. Look at these. Look at this community note. This is like the greatest thing ever. This community note. Snopes, even. Snopes. Snopes of all places. Did Hillary Clinton smash her phone with a hammer? <laughs> oh, well, mixture. One of Hillary Clinton's aides told the FBI that on two occasions he disposed of her unwanted mobile devices by breaking them or hammering them. <laughs> Hillary Clinton did not personally destroy her phone <laughs> In 2016, the Federal Bureau of Investigation made public documents relating to its now closed investigation into uh, Hillary Clinton. Use a private email server, government visits, posting them uh, through its public document platform known as The Vault. At the time, the document dump. Clinton's uh, then-presidential campaign rival, Donald Trump, the news media picked up on what seemed to be a salacious detail that at some point, an aide used a hammer to destroy Clinton's mobile devices. This is obviously and clearly and totally illegal, and Hillary Clinton should be serving the rest of her diseased, syphilitic life in jail. And whatever jail uh, won't allow her to fly out of it on a broomstick. But, you know, not going to stop people like Keith Olbermann from getting, again, community noted into the freaking sun. You've been hallucinating a lot lately. Yeah. The people who are actually hallucinating are the ones who uh, don't see what's happening with Joe Biden right now with any type of clarity because, well, the Biden administration's over. Burstman executives allegedly had Joe Biden audio recordings, conversations with Joe and Hunter. 
So yeah, the guys that were uh, bribing the Bidens, the guys that were handing the Bi- like give me give me money, says the Bidens, and I'll hand you American policy. The thing that you can be impeached for via the Constitution, you know, you can be impeached for bribe. Bribery is one of the reasons you can impeach a president. Yeah. Uh, dude, this guy has conversations. This guy has recordings. So Keith Obingen can rage tweet all of he wants, get community noted all day and night into the solar system. Uh, Joe Biden's going down, dude. This ain't good. This guy's got recordings. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> it's really bad. But that is our favorite CNN clip to ever be broadcast. The single greatest cell phone in the history of CNN and the, the most wonderful fact check uh, live on air at CNN ever. Hillary Clinton smashing her phones with a hammer. Oh, and by the way, uh, Donald Trump said he'd put her in jail. Maybe we should re-up this clip. Maybe this should be what Donald Trump runs on once again. Didn't get it done the first term. Let's go for round two. Go. Is, uh, it's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah, because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. 